I'm sure some of you have seen the pull-through braid that has been floating around on YouTube and Pinterest lately. If you haven't seen that, I'll put a link to a few tutorials in the description box below. But we're basically going to be doing that braid in reverse today. So in the original pull-through braid, you would split the ponytail in half and add an elastic on this top strand and then pull the bottom strand up through the top strand. In this reverse variation, we're going to be pushing the top strand down through the bottom strand. So I already have this ponytail split in half horizontally, and if I was going to do this the opposite way, I would tie a rubber band on this bottom strand and I would push this top strand through there. But I'm going to cheat a little bit and make it easier. I'm just going to split this bottom half in half, and then I'm going to bring these two strands up and over the top half and then just tie it with the rubber band right here. I'm going to be using these small rubber bands made by Goody and these are the perfect size for her hair. I can wrap them around just once and it'll hold it perfectly in place. So it's a lot easier than wrapping it around and around. So now that I have that first elastic there, I'm going to take this strand underneath, split it in half again and then just bring each of those halves up around and tie in another rubber band. And then you'll just want to make sure that those are spaced out fairly evenly and you just keep going. You just keep splitting that bottom strand in half and bringing it around to the front. to the bottom, I usually just add one more rubber band and tie everything together. So as you can see, this is a very quick and easy style and it stays in really well. You can either leave it just like this or you can stretch out the edges to make it look a little bit bigger. To do that, I usually just start here at the bottom and just slightly pull on each of those strands. You want to avoid pulling on this hair that's running through the middle and just pull on the outside edges. I'm working with her hair while it's a little bit damp, which kind of hinders this process. If you're working with dry hair, it's going to stretch a little bit easier. That is what it looks like with the side stretched out. You can decide which variation you like better. 